Well, my name's Sigmund. I'm a junior entrepreneur that likes to recycle. I'm eight years old. And I'm in third grade. That's definitely not water. Good job, Ryan. Thank you. Research the link helps the earth, people, plants, animals, and other living things. It's very easy to recycle. You just have to grab a bottle, toss it in the craft bin. Boom. I was three and a half, and my dad and me took a bag of cans to the recycling center, and it got about five bucks. And I like doing it, so I've been doing it ever since. Ooh, I love these. It was his idea to enlist all of our neighbors and to get more people recycling for him, and he was hyper-focused on it. So I'll teach you some facts. The longer it went, the bigger it got. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Mm -hmm. We had neighbors, uh, friends and family, his grandmother and grandfather's neighborhood was saving for him, churches, different schools. We have a uh, country club called El Niguel Country Club. They save every can and bottle from every one of the trash cans at the golf holes, and uh, they call us every couple weeks to come and pick it up. Like, pretend I'm a random golfer. I'm golfing. Hmm. I'm too hard, I need a drink. Here comes the drink card. Glug, glug, glug. Toss it in uh, the trash bin or, oh, here, yeah, I'll leave it in here for somebody to collect. Hey, hey, Ryan, how you doing? Hi. Right. Then this person named George, he comes around every golf course bin, pulls out all the trash and recycles. <laughs> Should we take a golf cart? Oh, yeah, we can take a golf cart. I've been doing this for probably two years with Ryan. Whenever he comes, he's always looking. He cannot pass a trash can without looking. He is at 100% driven. Oh, Gatorade bottle. Okay, I'll get it for you. I've never met a kid like that. Nope. I haven't met many adults like that. <laughs> Everything's all loaded in. He actually understands what he's doing and its effect. And the fun stuff happens after. Bye, George. Bye. Yeah. Perfect. You want to take the trash bin back to Dad? My mom and Dad and Grandma on Tuesday help me sort. That's, that's a full bottle. It's going too fast. And then once we have a full bag, we tie it up, stack it along this wall with all the others. We load it up in our truck, drive to the recycling center usually, we're first to line. We estimate that Ryan's recycled about 270,000 cans and bottles, and I think that's about 60,000 pounds of cans and bottles. And probably one of our bottles is processing right on that conveyor belt. He's helping the environment. I mean, for every 2,000 pounds that he recycles, he saves 14,000 kilowatts of energy and then at least 40 barrels of oil. So he's doing his part. You know, we need more people to follow like him. Thanks, thank you. Then we go home. Bye, bank. We get all the money. It goes to my bank account. Then I save it for a trash truck. I'm pushing for college and he's pushing for a trash truck. We'll see who wins. On the weekends, my dad and me goes to the beach to pick up trash. Hi! Hi! What is that? The dirty sock! Scrunchies, hair ties. This is what I got. Zip ties, cigarette butts. Today I found a golf ball. What's this? Just a rock. Sometimes really gross stuff like a diaper or a poop bag. Another scrunchie! Scrunchies are winning! I think we got it all. I'm just going to drag it. Ready? Yeah, we cannot overfill this one. Well, and this is what I found at the dumpster. This is 10 cents. Next, we're going to the Marine Center, the Pacific Marine Mammal Center. Pacific Marine Mammal Center, and it's in Laguna Beach, California, United States of America. Okay, follow me. I donate money, 10 bucks, from each of these shirts. And I help rescue them and feed them food and medicine. 
pretend I'm a sea lion and I come across a bat. I eat it. I'm sick. They rescue me. They give me surgery and pull it out. Then they let me go about a month later. <laughs> I give money to this place because it saves all these animals, like that one. Ah, here it is. Ah, right here. What are those fishes or mine that I donated? I, I already did this. Ryan had a uh, opportunity when he was in first grade. His first grade teacher had put together a classroom exercise and he spoke to his class about what he was doing with recycling. And that turned into a uh, full-fledged interview with our local newspaper and it just got bigger and bigger. And my wife called me at work one day and she goes, hey, the Ellen Show called the house. They want to have Ryan on the show. And I was like, the Ellen Show? Like Ellen DeGeneres? She goes, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's who it is. And, so Ryan was on the show the following week. Why do you love recycling so much? Uh, uh, because it saves the planet and uh, it keeps bottles and cans out of the ocean for animals to not get sick or die. Isn't that beautiful? After the show, they had told us, you know, be prepared. After you're on the show, you're going to get a lot of phone calls. Sure enough, they, they did. We've had days where he was getting thousands of emails a day. They sent me an email. So I'm going to put this one tiny white pin in inside the Philippines. So we've had the opportunity with Ryan's story to be in contact with some people we probably wouldn't have normally. And some of those are kids and schools and adults all over the world that are asking Ryan, how do you recycle? What can I do better in my area? He's more focused on his recycling today than he ever has been. Too much trash is left in the oceans on the ground and I think uh, we need to do more and Ryan's an influence on me and hopefully other people. Do you guys want maybe stickers? I would probably not be doing this if it wasn't for Ryan, so he's opened my eyes to making a difference for sure. Anything else you want to add? Nope. Okay. Mm -hmm.